This video is sponsored by Osmo. These work, I think it will work. <gasps> we did it! <laughs> Yay, we did it! Is it gonna make oh. it, is it gonna make it? Oh. <laughs> it made it! Hey guys, it's Lucy here, and thank you for watching Tic Tac Toy Family. As you can see, I am in our playroom, which is the center of fun in our house. Now we have a brand new addition to this playroom which we are super excited about. Now, let me remind you that this playroom is already pretty super cool. We have swings hanging from the ceilings, we have monkey bars, we have a rock climbing wall, a loft, a slide, so many cool things. A pear and a banana. I did it! <laughs> I'll tell you that Mai is giving away a pretty big hint as to what the new item in our playroom is. And I'm gonna take you over here to our wall full of amazing toys and point out that we have a brand new large collection of Osmo Math Wizard games. Now Osmo is an educational learning platform that allows kids to boost their confidence and enhance their creativity while using tangible pieces to create a really fun hands-on learning experience. Maya, what game are you playing right now? Enchanted World Games. Ooh. The Enchanted World Games is one of the Math Wizards games that focuses on multiplication. And I was really excited to add this one to our collection because Maya has been working on multiplication this year in math class, and it's been a great way to add some extra support to our curriculum we're using at home. We're moving to the next level, Maya. Yay. Let's start fresh. Look at my goal. What? what? 50 and 51. Ooh. But I have some higher numbers. So, let's start off with the one on. In this game, Maya is basically using advanced traction and addition, which is a foundational skill for multiplication. And she's having to give the athletes in the Enchanted World games lots of power and fuel so they can compete and do well. Ooh, we're going to weightlifting now. My new character is a bear. A bear, and he's ready to lift some weights. Create a big number using the fruits. Ooh. So we need to reach the first chest, which is one, two, three, four, five, six, seven stars away. And it tells us that a watermelon is three stars and a grape is worth two stars. Okay, so we have to use those to somehow yeah. make the number seven. So if we put this here and this, then we That's would get a three, five. And four, then that five. grape, the grape is worth two. And so we are grape. grape, let's see. We, we did it. it! Now we have to reach the other chest. I love that Osmo is all about learning through play and having fun, and that it's a healthy way to use our screen time. Now, we keep it in our playroom because even though I know it's a great educational tool, the kiddos look at it as just a ton of fun. These work, I think it will work. <gasps> we did it, we reached all three of the chests. <laughs> I have two, 214 diamonds now. Oh yeah. <laughs> I'm a wizard step and I'm wet. <laughs> wow, who is this here? A wizard? Colin, are you a math wizard? Uh-huh, with, with a sword wizard. <laughs> I think it goes on mommy's head. Can I be a wizard too? Uh-huh. All right, there, do I look like a math wizard to you? Hey, Colin, now that we're official math wizards together, would you like to play some math wizard with Yay! Maya? Oh, he's already running off to play. <laughs> now we're switching to Math Wizard and the Magical Workshop. Are you two ready? Yes, and our yes. friends are ready too. Your friends are ready too. They're gonna play as well. Hi friends, let's get ready. This game is all about addition and subtraction, so it's a perfect level for Colin to step in here and do a little bit of early learning. Who's ready to brew potions with dragon claws and sparkle dust? Me! Me! This is your potion book. You're gonna need this. Let's play potions. Wow. Okay, Colin, so we have to add one plus two. You take one of these and you put them in there and then you take two of them and put them there. There you go, now you have one mushroom and two feathers. And what does one plus two equal, Colin? Three, three. 
Yes. You got it, buddy. It's Three magic. Stars. Three stars. Whoa. Oh. You made a gross potion. We need a dragon claw. And an eyeball. You made a gross potion just like in this book right there. Look, look. Make a good look you made him bigger. I can't believe I made a gross potion. <laughs> now we gotta do six plus one, buddy. What is six plus one equal, Colin? Do you know? Candy! Candy! Six plus one. Four, five, six, seven. Yes, seven. You can also make shrink potions, warm and cold potions, float potions, <gasps> and fast potions. Yeah. Oh my goodness, what do you think a fast potion would be like? Would it make you go super fast? A smelly potion. Let's make a smelly. <laughs> I think we need to make a smelly potion too. The Math Wizard games in general are geared towards children in first and second grade and approximately ages six to eight. The one that they are playing right now focuses on addition and subtraction, up to 120, counting, place value, and comparing numbers. In the spirit of the potions lab, which Maya and Colin are currently working in downstairs in the playroom, Addie and I are gonna teach you how to make a real potion, aren't we, girly? Mm -hmm. And actually, this potion is the exact same potion we used in the video that's on Tic Tac Toy called First Day of Toy Homeschool, which is another video we filmed featuring Osmo Math Wizard Games. So we'll put a link down below to that too so you can check out that video as well. Now our four ingredients are white vinegar, baking soda, dish soap, and some food coloring. All right, let's put these ingredients together and make our potion. Mm -hmm. First, we're gonna pour some white vinegar in here. And next up, we're gonna add a little bit of dish soap. Next is a little food coloring, just for fun. Stirring it up a little bit, and what's yep. the last ingredient we're gonna add? Our baking soda. And this is a magic ingredient, isn't it? Mm -hmm. I think just maybe a couple tablespoons will do. Here, I'll let you put it in. Okay. Put one in and see what happens. Ooh! Ooh there it goes! Exploded. Magic so cool. potion. And now that you know our filming secret, I'm gonna head back to the playroom and we're gonna see what math wizard game Maya is playing with right now. Hello, dragon scouts. Ooh, look for it. Oh, I found the dragon. Oh, this one is inches. It's about five inches. Well, Maya is currently busy playing Math Wizard and the Secret of the Dragons, which is all about measurement. The last dragon I had to measure in inches, but this dragon I have to me measure in <laughs> centimeters. In centimeters, all right. So let's see how long it is. Okay, so you're measuring in your book. It's about 10. Ooh, okay. Measure the dragon by pointing on the ruler where the dragon's snout or nose ends. Oh, it looks like you have a new dragon to find on page nine of your guidebook. Ooh, that's a good looking one. Yay, you discovered a new dragon! Look Yay! As you can see, Maya is busy exploring the dragon reserve and she's working to complete her dragon guidebook. And she's able to measure and care for her dragons, which allows them to actually grow. I fed my dragon! <laughs> good job, Maya. So these are all the different foods that the dragons like. Ooh, some of them like sandwiches, corn, yummy churro. Was that a churro? I think it was. <laughs> are you having fun? Yes. <laughs> well, so far, ah, I lost my wizard hat. <laughs> So far we've done Math Wizard and the Enchanted World Games, which is all about multiplication. We've checked out Math Wizard and the Magical Workshop, which you played, and this was all addition and subtraction. Then we did Math Wizard and the Secrets of the Dragons, which involved measurement. And next we have Math Wizard and the Amazing Airships. Do you wanna try this one? 
This one is all about mathematical thinking, so let's give it a go. In this game, Maya and Colin are joining Rupert the Robot Mouse in designing airships. Look are you here. guys ready to deliver packages and navigate through challenges like thunderstorms and high winds? Do you think you can do it? Because We're traveling right now. Oh. There's a boat. Look, it delivered a fish to the yeah. kitty cat. You completed that level. Woohoo! Good right. job, Colin. Move, move. Look, it's flying away. Oh, is it gonna make it? Yeah. Is it gonna make it? He's making. No. It's falling. Oh. There's heavy, strong ones. There are strong ones. Oh. Oh. Yes. <laughs> One thing I really appreciate about the Osmo games, which I'm sure you've been able to see as Colin and Maya play them, are that they are child-led, and the games increase in difficulty as the child plays, so kids aren't frustrated as they're trying to learn new mathematical concepts. It presents at a level that they can grasp, and they can understand, and they can grow and learn with it. So since our ship is two and our cargo is five, that is seven. So we need balloons that make the number seven. That's right, we have to have the right amount of balloons so that it can lift up all of our cargo and our airship and get it safely to where it needs to go. So we'll put on, put on balloons. the balloons. Oh, look at it! <laughs> it made it! Good job, we guys! We did it! Good job! We beat his minions and we brought him there. <laughs> so, Maya, we've been playing all of these Math Wizard games and we have had these cute little characters in the background the whole time, but we haven't come across them yet. Do you know who this is? This is Raina. And Raina is a rookie cook. And then over here, we have Betty, who is a master chef. Ooh. And these characters go with a brand new math wizard game that we have not played before. And to check it out, you're gonna go up to the kitchen. You ready for it? Yes. Okay, let's go. It's already so ready. <laughs> <laughs> I've got my chef's hat on because it is time for Math Wizard and the Fantastic Food Truck! Yay! This game is all about geometry, and it tells us that your children will learn how to compose 2D shapes, how to identify the properties of 2D shapes, how to partition shapes into equal shares, and they'll get some practice with spatial reasoning. Their game board, and then I think we need these game pieces inside here. The Fantastic Food Truck is a game all about cooking using geometric shapes. Players get to customize their creation using several kitchen appliances, and unique customers will show up during the game and have some pretty unique food requests. Let's land our flying food truck here and start cooking! You girls ready to start cooking? Yes! Oh look, there's Raina! We have met her downstairs, remember? Yeah. <laughs> She's our rookie cook. Yes. Can you help us cook some food for them? I think we can do that, right? Yes. We can help Rihanna cook some food. I decided to bring our last game upstairs to the kitchen to play because first of all, it's a fantastic food truck game, so it only makes sense that we're in the kitchen where the food is. But secondly, since Osmo is a game that can be played independently by children, I love to use it to give myself a little bit of a break or to use the time to get some cooking done. So one of my favorite tips and tricks is to pull out the Osmo, Colin or Maya will come up and they'll play and keep busy while I get dinner cooking. Whoa! Whoa. I made a tomato. That's so cool. We just made a whole circle with four equal parts or four quarter circles. <laughs> Yay, we did it! You made her happy. Yes, we did. Hey, this is our new customer. Let's see what he wants. Oh, look, we need a semicircle now. I don't know how to make that shape. Here, 
take one. Now we're cooking pizzas for a cute little piggy. Oh look, they use different Yay. shapes. Let's see if those work better. Hmm. <laughs> Addie can do it. You got it, Addie. Oh, you did it! Good job, guys. Okay, that looks like a mushroom to me. Yes. What do you guys think? It <gasps> yep, it worked! Yep. So we used a square and two quarter circles. The Math Wizard games we've been playing today do not include the Osmo base. So if you're brand new to Osmo, we suggest you start with an Osmo starter kit and then add fun games like Math Wizard. The range of starter kits are for ages three through 10 and they include a little genius starter kit, a genius starter kit, and a coding starter kit. Thank you so much for hanging out with us today and for checking out Osmo and all their super cool, super fun, and educational math wizard games. We'll see you guys next time. XOXO! Bye!